All right, so this is my top eight books on business and success. All right, so today I thought I'd talk about the, the best, most effective books I've read on business and, you know, um, making more money and doing what you want to do. These are my personal favorites, obviously. Um, they, I found these to be very useful, very helpful. And to be honest, I have read quite a lot of books and, you know, for the most part, I just go by what is recommended to me. But these are special in the, in the sense that I've actually researched these and they have changed quite a lot of people's lives. Um, and they've always popped up on the, you know, the top uh, business books list and everything. So these are books I've actually read, I've actually implemented what they've taught and they are really good. So let's just get right into it. So firstly, now I actually have a pretty good reason for liking each specific book here. And so I'm just gonna start by going through them. So firstly, the four hour work week. Now this, is entirely based on setting up systems and automation in order to let you live the life you want to lead. Basically, it's all about you know finding what's called a muse, and that is something that just makes you money regardless of what how much time you put into it. Um, so it's a lot about passive income, but it's also about escaping what you're currently doing uh, and sort of doing it from anywhere. So it's basically, if you want to be a digital nomad, this is a very important book. This uh, gives you a lot of insight into how to take the job you're already doing and either turn it into something you do for yourself or give you the skills and you know ideas to enable you to do that same job from say anywhere in the world, Thailand or Bali or something. So the Millionaire Fast Lane, this is a lot more focused on actually acquiring a lot of wealth very quickly. So this is on building things that can be sold later on for an exit. This is on this is talking about like companies building things that can be sold for a large amount of money. But it's also talking about how to leverage things like your time and you know how to leverage your time and your money. There's a very interesting story from the author actually about how he started uh, in business and, and his first business idea involving limousines and it's actually quite interesting. I really liked this book, really good. I read this in in uh, in about a week I think it was. So Rich Dad Poor Dad, this is a lot more focused on using your money that you already have. This isn't really talking about how to get money as such, although there are some really interesting stories in this um, and some really interesting ideas. This, this book is more focused on, you know, when you've got money, how should you use it to make more money? This is about making your money work for you. The Miracle Morning is not actually about money at all. This is about stacking habits. And you know, this is where I originally got the idea of, uh, of habit stacking from, is the Miracle Morning. And it talks about, you know, building a lot of habits into one particular routine in the morning. And, uh, you know, using the momentum and the motivation you get from doing those to beget more success. So it's sort of like uh, a really inspirational morning routine book. Now this is something that really helped me, particularly when I was working in sales um, before I sort of started working for myself full time. Um, this is a really useful book about, about sales, obviously, and it teaches you not only how to sell things, but also how to change your mindset about sales so that you're gonna always be one step ahead of everybody else. This is very important. A lot of salesmen you know, would do very well to read this. Even if you don't enjoy, even if you're not actually working directly in sales, you know, this is important for anything in business because let's be honest, all business is sales. You're always selling something to somebody, whether it's an idea, a product, or you know, a service. So this is really important and I would attribute a lot of my success in sales to this book. Then we've got Growth Hacker Marketing. Now this is a lot more focused on online things. Obviously you can do growth hacking offline, but this is mainly focused on websites and using online methods to grow your business fast. This is really interesting. There's some really nice ideas in this book, um, a lot of which I've actually used on my own websites to help them grow faster and become the number one, uh, you know, or one of the top um, websites in my niche. And it's a lot to do with the ideas in this book and the ideas of you know helping as many people as you can, as fast as you can, but also building vir virality into your products and making sure that they can be shared easily. And you know, this is a very, very interesting, effective book. Now we've got the $100 startup. This is what I would probably suggest to read towards the beginning of your endeavor in business because this is all about validation. I really wish I had read this book before I even started. This is this talks a lot about how to actually test your idea before investing a lot of money. I mean, the title suggests it, doesn't it? The $100 startup. It's about validating your idea before investing a lot of time and money into it so that you know whether it's gonna be worth going ahead with or whether it's not viable. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of money. I really wish I'd read this sooner. 
But that being said, you know, I read this after I'd already started and it was very good. It had a lot of insights and I'm glad I read it. And then this, this is more sort of like, um, this is a, a more sort of story based book as opposed to practical lessons as such. But this talks about, you know, basic principles with wealth, acquiring money uh, and, you know, making sure that you keep the money that you earn and how to use that to earn more. Very interesting um, book about wealth and how, how economics work in general. I think a lot of people, in fact everyone, you know, really should read this just so they have a better understanding of finances and how to manage their, their life and their money. Now if I had to say which one was the most effective out of these books, I couldn't tell you because to be honest these have all influenced my business and these they've sort of all been useful. Um, if I had to say well, like one particular book then I guess then I guess what started it was the inspiration from the four hour work week because that gave me the sort of drive to create something that would not only make me a living but also make it passively and enable me to do whatever I want to do. To travel around the world, to do the things I want to do to be free uh, and to decide when I work, what I do. This is, this is a really liberating book. Um, and sort of the inf inspiration and motivation I got from the four hour work week then inspired me to then go out and buy all these other books and learn those skills as well, like the marketing and the sales and everything like that. So it really was sort of sparked by the four hour work week. I have to admit that. So hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time, guys.